The following is a paid political announcement. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to present your candidate for city council, Johnny LaRue. Oh, hi, I'm Johnny LaRue. I want your vote. Now, I'm not going to beg you to vote for me. And I'm not going to lie to you or try to fool you with any fancy figures or statistics you wouldn't understand. All I want to do is give you the straight dope on me and why I'm running for office. Now, a lot of people criticize me for being in show business. They say that actors should stay out of politics. Well, I'd like to see one of them try to handle a tricky role like Hamlet or Willie Loman in Death of a Salesman. Others say I lack the educational background to understand complicated issues. Well, I've been looking over the government reports here uh, on tax reform, aid to public schools, land use statistics, economic growth projections. Hell, you'd need a college degree to understand it. And even if you could understand it, you wouldn't care anyway. No, if I'm elected, you're not going to find me with my nose buried in any law books or any reports. People are where it's at. And it's people that I love. <laughs> Fine-looking family, isn't it? Well, it isn't my family, but if I had a family, they'd probably look just like that. <laughs> Aren't you a cutie? <laughs> oh! You're fired! Get out! You're disgusting, LaRue. Get out! He's gonna leave you. You're all fired. As you can see, uh, I'm not afraid to take a tough stand on important issues. So remember, this election day, vote for me, Johnny LaRue, if you know what's good for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, come here. A lot of people have been saying that I've got mafia connections and that I'm gay. Well, I'm not gay. I just want the gay vote, that's all. I want all the votes. Vote for me. The preceding was paid for by the Sicilian Homophile Society. I'm Earl Cannonbear. Stay tuned to SCTV's Election Central for complete election results. Well, the polls closed as of three minutes ago. Good evening, everybody. I'm Earl Cannonbear, along with Floyd Robertson here at Election Central. And Floyd, let's take a look at some of those returns. Earl, the polls closed three minutes ago. There are no returns yet. Hmm. Well, just a little anxious, I guess. <laughs> we did find out, however, that a record turnout voted today. 18% of Mellonville's population cast their ballots. Yeah. Up from 6% two years ago. Well, Floyd, uh, whoever said that Mellonvillonians are apathetic can now eat their shorts. Words, words. Or... Well, uh, while we're waiting for those early returns, last week SCTV televised a debate between the three candidates running for city council. For those of you who missed it, here are some edited highlights of that show. Good evening, I'm Earl Cannonbear. I'm sitting with three candidates running for a seat on city council. Shirley McLennan Black, Jack Brown, and a local favorite, a man who I feel can really do the job, Johnny LaRue. Okay, let's talk turkey. That's my favorite topic, Earl. <laughs> <laughs> Great sense of humor, Johnny. Just what you need in a high-pressure job like the one you're running for. <laughs> All right, let's start with the topic for debate. A 300-acre tract of land just outside Mellonville is being rezoned for industrial development. Now, as a professional journalist and a concerned citizen, I want to know where you stand. So, women and children first. Let's start with Shirley McLennan Black. Oh, uh, could you just say the first part again, please? Question? The 300 acre tract of land just outside Mellonville. Where oh. do you stand on the uh, issue? Uh, yes, of course. Um, well, Earl, as an actress turned politician, I would like to meld the two together. And on that tract of land, Earl, I would like to build a political theater where the people can come to me and I can perform for them. Because I, I work best in front of an audience. Hmm. Jack Brown. Well, it's not a question of zoning, Earl, as far as I can see. I believe it's more a question of uh, facing the ultimate global confrontation. We all know what's going to happen. The question is when and are we ready. A lot of people say I'm a young politician with old ideas. I like that. That's very important to me. Whatever happened to the days when we could walk softly and carry a big stick? 
I think we should bring those days back and bring them back to Mellonville. What we need, basically, is something to unite the people, a, a common enemy, a war. We need hatred to bring the people back together again. And I think that's important, and uh, one of the ways that we might be able to do it is by taking this 300-acre tract of land and using it for military purposes. I mean, God knows we give enough foreign aid to countries all over the world, and what we got to do now is... Uh, make this a military installation, perhaps a missile silo, you know, where we have our own defense built right in. There we can pick out our own common enemy, go to an atlas, flip through the back pages of the index, pick a country, any country at all. Unite the people of Mellonville together. Then and only then will we be able to protect our farms, our source of food, from the Asian hordes that we all know are coming. Because after all, if we don't eat, we'll get thin. And who wants to be as thin as those Asians, hmm? Very interesting. And now, not to show any favoritism, <clears throat> I've saved the best for the last. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny LaRue. Thank you, Earl. You people may or may not know this, but I was born right here in Mellonville. That's right. My roots are here. Sure, I left for a few years, but I'm back to stay. And you know, I think the good people of, of Mellonville, they know me, and they know what I stand for. <laughs> sure, I caused a lot of scandals in the past, and I apologize for them, but let bygones be bygones. Let's move ahead. Onto that 300 acres of land. You know what I'd like to do with them? I'd like to turn it into a bird sanctuary and a gambling casino. <laughs> because birds are God's little creatures. And I know the good people of Mellonville love God's little creatures and craps. <laughs> Thank you. Gambling, tourists, more money in Mellonville? Sounds great to me. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous to me, Earl, especially when viewed with the fact that you are his campaign manager and everybody knows it. That makes this debate a farce. I hope you lose. Oh, come on. Talk about biased journalism. I wish Floyd Robertson ran this debate. And I think women should stay out of politics and start baking more cookies. <laughs> you see what I'm up against, Earl? I you see what I'm do. up against here? Cheap slanderous remarks from these opponents of mine, these so-called opponents, and they have nothing to do with the issues. They're intended solely to put a black mark on your good career and character. <laughs> if I were you, I'd sue the pants off both of them. Well, I gotta go to a Negro luncheon right now. Make sure those campaign posters are up at six. Okay, Johnny. Don't touch me. I don't know where you've been. I'm not shaking hands with you, you four-eyed bozo. Get out of here. You've got to be objective. I am objective. Look, you cannot run someone's campaign. No, you can't. No, no, you can't. No, you can't. You cannot. We're back. And uh, these early returns from Mellonville North. Pick and the incumbent, 202 votes, leading both Axelrod and Melrose, who are tied at 76 votes each. Now, Axelrod and Melrose have been protesting Piganini's strong-arm tactics during the campaign, citing blackmail and physical threats to their wives and children. Well, it should be an interesting campaign to follow. Earl? Floyd, uh, you've heard the old Gene Pitney tune, The Night Has a Thousand Eyes. Well, those thousand eyes tonight are on the Mellonville West Riding, where Jack Brown holds the lead. What? <laughs> Sorry. Jack Brown holds the lead with 171 votes, followed closely by Shirley... No, I don't believe this. 165 people voted for Shirley McLennan Black, a woman who is now in second place, followed closely by Johnny LaRue, who trails with... Well, he seems to be closing that gap rather quickly, and... Uh, uh, how many votes does he have, Earl? Well, it doesn't say here, Floyd. Oh, uh, yes, it does. <laughs> Five votes? <laughs> well, it's a good thing for LaRue he got you to manage his campaign, huh? Could have been worse. Floyd, it's obvious you know nothing about political strategy. Uh, the way I managed Johnny's campaign was that we start slow... And, and we gradually die out completely. We'll be back with more election coverage as soon as more results come in. One, two, three, four. Who are we for? Johnny, Johnny, Johnny LaRue. Knock that off. Hi, this is Sammy Modlin saying be sure to watch the Sammy Modlin Show tonight on SCTV. Welcome back. This is Election Central and these late returns just in. 
Joe Piganini has taken the seat for Mellonville North with 515 votes. That's 200 more than his closest rival, Michael Axelrod. And Earl, uh, you have some late returns there, haven't you? I sure do, Floyd. Um, Harry Truman was defeated by Dwight D. Eisenhower. <laughs> get it, Floyd? Late returns. <laughs> Will you get on with it? Uh, seriously, Floyd, uh, uh, speaking of late returns, uh, did you know that in the last municipal election, 66% of the voters, which uh, would be 52% of the population, voted between the hours of 3 and 5, a sharp contrast to the 72 municipal election when 61% of the eligible voters, uh, which at that time composed only 48% of the population, voted between the hours of 11 and 2. Now, you'll remember that was the year of the uh, big baby boom, and a lot of eligible women were uh, breastfeeding their babies, generally between the hours of uh, 9 and uh, 11, which allowed 33% of these uh, nursing mothers to Earl, get to the... Earl, Earl, what is your point? Well, my point, uh, Floyd, is that according to voter profile projections, 59% of the voters are expected today to vote between the hours of 4.15 and uh, 5.35. Five. What is your point? Floyd, my point is that 40% of today's voters under the age of 25 uh, voted before 12.30, which means if we draw from the past, which is what I was getting at, uh, the 30 to 50 age group who previously were voting between 9.30 and 1.10... Silence yourself! We'll be back with more election results in a few moments. Stay tuned to SCTV's Election Central for election results as they happen. Hello again from Election Central. This is Floyd Robertson. And in case you haven't already heard, Mellonville West was the hot district in today's election. Shirley McLennan Black just overtaking Jack Brown for that all-important seat. Johnny LaRue's showing was a disappointment, to say the least. Now, I understand Johnny's going over to his campaign headquarters. Earl Cannonbear should be there to get a reaction from LaRue on his defeat. Earl, are you there? Don't forget to hand in your buttons and your hats before you go, everybody. Listen, please, don't take them home. We can still get some money back for them. Now, here comes Johnny, everybody. He's coming in now, so let's have some applause and cheers. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he... Shut up, Cannon Bear. It's not my fault, Johnny. I did everything I could. I'll deal with you later. Get out of here. <laughs> well, I guess you expect me to say, uh... It was a good, clean race, and uh, that the best man won. <laughs> or broad, as the case may be. <laughs> sure. We're not going to hear that from me. Nope. I'm bitter. I'm real bitter. But I learned something from all of this. I learned that the good people of Mellonville <laughs> are all idiots. You people are nothing more than dirt farmers. You don't know a good thing when you see it. Now get out of here. Clean out. Come on. Pack it up. Move on. <sighs> Great speech, Johnny. Oh, shit. <laughs> Johnny LaRue. Big man in defeat. Floyd. Well, congratulations once again to Shirley McLennan Black. Oh, uh, and Earl, Shirley's reporting you, by the way, to the National Election Campaign Committee, the FCC, and the National Association of Broadcast Journalists for conflict of interest, breach of journalistic integrity, and other illegal endeavors during the campaign. Let them eat cake. Well put. Good night. This is SCTV Channel 109 in Mellonville Cable 6.